Hey traders, hope everybody's having a good weekend. Uh, I've got a short video on what's new for the week ahead. Thought I would take some time just to summarize everything for the week uh, 15 through 19 April 2024. Let's get right into it. All right, weekend update number one. So some of the new posts that I've made this weekend. Um, made a real short trading office uh, video in case you're curious how I have things set up. You're know, certainly curious how you guys have things set up. Always trying to learn new uh, new ways to organize better. Second thing, uh, put together the B4 Maximus video. If you hadn't had a ch chance to look at that, cover that in detail. Kind of uh, the new way I'm looking uh, at using the B4. Not really all that new. It's just some new additions in there. Uh, out of the B4 uh, new video. I observed another pattern. I'm calling it the overstretched jiggle. It's pretty neat. I'm going to show you in detail how the last couple of days played out with that. Uh, number four, I moved the uh, short-term BLT trigger lines on the original model, BLT and B4 model, to a lower pane. Let me just show you that right quick. Um, so you can see down here, I moved those short terms out of the way just to keep this chart clean. You know, For me down here, it's just a quick visual on what we're you know, what the status of those are and um, you know primarily using those if I get early uh, before jiggles before the trend changes you know I want to go with it with the short term and you know of course the FST breakdown which is covered in the before Maximus video okay so a reminder of the setup some keyed in on for next week is the John Wick the before jiggle the trigger line trade and the overstretch I'm going to go over those, uh, highlight those here in just a moment. Things I'm looking at on separate models that I'm working on in the background is incorporating the GAN fan. Uh, it's pretty neat. I'm just focused on the 1-1 one, one and the 1-2 lines. That's, uh, that's all that really interests me in that, uh, that approach. And it really combines with trend breakouts for uh, confirming really good trend breakouts on our on our trend models. And then next week I'm starting to add filters to the B4 jiggle stats. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the setups we're looking at focusing on in our program. So first one is uh, John Wick. Let's go back here and find you know, a good John Wick that I would be interested in taking. Um, I would definitely look at this when we had a cross here on the bearish side, John Wick, I'd get in right there, um, trying to get my five points. So I just need five bars uh, at the close plus a tick. So one, two, three, four, and set through just a little heat. You know, I've got my stop back here above that John Wick, and we get our five points on that. Uh, let's see. If we find, yes, yeah, a good bullish. We we start getting above the trigger lines here so you know we're already bullish on the short term we're trying to break above here and the MACD is just screaming so come down get in the close plus these I get in typically at the close of the bar and then try to get my five points okay it's the John Wick that's what we're focused on um, example of a bullish uh, B4 jiggle so we've got the up triangles. We need at least a two bar pullback or more. It could be nine or 10 bars. It doesn't matter as long as you don't get the opposing triangle before the reversal. So we get a good clean reversal. We're up, I'm in at the close plus a tick, trying to get my five points. All right, same thing here, um, multiple bearish uh, B4 jiggle. So down arrow, rally, or the pullback occurs in at the close plus a tick trying to get my uh, five points re-enter for another one here same thing no issue all right next thing we're looking at are uh, some trigger line trades oh yeah I just bypassed a couple right here so here's a beautiful one example get the cross we pull down we pull back into the trigger lines trigger lines have to hold um, the uh, the price action and then on these, because it's combined with the jiggle, I'm in at the close plus a tick. 
All right, here's an example. This is one here. If you'd taken this one, it wouldn't have worked. I'd have been stopped out right there. But this still works. I usually, I'm usually turned off on the, the trigger line touch if I get three of these bottoms above the trigger lines. Here we only have two. The trigger lines are still crossed. But here's the important thing is we get the up arrow here uh, in still a bearish structure. So I'm looking at entering third bar, uh, third close down, somewhere around that third close. Okay. So here's a beautiful one here. Bullish, pull back, down arrow. As soon as we get the down arrow, I'm three bars or three closes up for the entry. Okay. And it just repeats bearish structure it back into the trigger lines up arrow three bars down uh, let me see if I can find one with yeah here's one uh, before jiggle combined again before jiggle bearish structure change we rally we do not uh, get the green up arrow so I'm in at the uh, close plus a tick all right so now what I want to do is just I'm just going to walk back from back from right to left and walk back and show you the overstretched B4 jiggle. So let me find a good example. This is like the only losing trade out of two days that, that I marked. So it's actually a good one to start with. But I want to show you what it, what a uh, what, what the concept is. Again, I spell it out in detail in the B4 Maximus. So I'm just going to quickly go over here and then just show you all the trades, okay? We get the B4 jiggle, bullish, we pull back, and during the B4 uh, jiggle pullback, we get the FST. Look at the B4 video to find out what the FST is if you haven't saw, seen that yet. We get the FST bearish line that, um, that prints, but we do not get the, the down arrow in this sequence. So that's a potential overstretch of the um, of the B4 jiggle. So I'm in at the close plus a tick on that. Okay, works the opposite for the for the bearish trades. Now this one doesn't work. So we've got a bearish B4 jiggle rally up. We get the um, bullish FST breakout. No up arrow here. So I'm I'm in at the close plus a tick, and I'm out for a loss on that one right there. Okay, we already talked about this one. Here is, uh, well, I'm sorry, two of them right at the end of the day. So here's another bearish. We're down. We rally back. We get the bullish FST breakout. Uh, no up arrow here. I'm in at the close minus uh, plus a tick, and it reverses and takes me out. So Anytime you get the up arrow inside this sequence here at, in a down, bull, uh, in a bearish uh, jiggle, that negates the trade. Okay, let's just walk back through. It's really phenomenal. Those were like the only two. So here we have bearish uh, jiggles. I get the green vertical up and then the first close down plus a tick and you get your five points. All right, here's a bearish again so we're bearish rally back you get the green up arrow there is no up triangle in this sequence so I'm in at the close plus a tick all right here we have a bullish jiggle trying to play out it rallies back I get the bearish FST breakdown so I'm waiting for the up close this is aggressive but it's up close plus a tick and look at how it works out I haven't just marked all the the good ones this is just all the ones in the last couple of days all right so bearish jiggle working out rally back I get the um, bullish breakout in the FST and down close plus a tick and I'm in from a five okay bearish rally green uh, FST bullish breakout overstretched closes back in the direction of the B4 jiggle close plus a tick bearish 
rally back, green up vertical line, no up triangle. I'm in short plus a tick, I get my five. Okay, I can just go back, here's a bullish one, rallies down, I get the overstretched mark here, the breakdown of the uh, FST, no opposing down arrow, close up, plus a tick, and look how it goes. Okay, there's just oodle, not oodles of these, but they there's enough of them that they really pay attention when you see this. Really pay attention. Okay, there will not be a reason for me not to ever take one of these trades based on what I've seen so far. So anyway, that's, uh, that's what's new for the week ahead. Hope uh, the video helps out, and we'll see you guys if you... Uh, if you're there for the live trading.